Mike Perlman here in part of my InfoSync World Laboratory and today I'm reviewing the Samsung Exhibit 4G. This is the cheapest 4G phone currently available in the market. It's $80 after a $50 mail-in rebate with a two-year T-Mobile voice and data contract. The Exhibit 4G is the first 4G phone to come along and say that you don't have to have a big bad attitude and a giant 4.3 inch capacitive touch screen and a battery life that lasts an hour to be one of the super 4G phones. You could still be a decent performer on a budget. It has a 1 gigahertz hummingbird processor. Its screen is a 3.7 inch TFT AMO LED 800 by 480 screen. It is actually a nice screen. It's bright. The colors are nice and uh, it was a lot more defined than I thought it would be. This is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread right out of the box and it has an accelerometer so we can enjoy 3D games. The design of this phone is compact. It's very similar to the iPhone when we look at dimensions. Although this phone is a bit thicker, it's a half inch thick. I do like the port enclosures on this phone. We have a micro SD card slot that's located on the outside of the phone and housed by a nice tethered cover. We get an 8 gigabyte card out of the box. I got four. I don't know what the mix up was all about. But we also get one gigabyte of storage on the inside. So that's a total of nine out of the box. Not a whole lot, but it's fine for the everyday user. We also get an enclosed USB terminal and I really like that design. Overall the design of this phone, I like its tapered bottom half, I like its sloped um, back panel at the, at the base and uh, as far as cameras we get a 3 megapixel camera in the back with an LED flash and a front facing VGA camera for video chat and self portraits. Overall this phone was nice and light the battery life on this phone is fantastic, 1500 milliamp hour battery. The talk time T-Mobile slates is 9 hours. The standby time is an astounding 15 days, although we found it to be closer to about a week. That's still pretty damn good for a smartphone these days. Call quality on this phone was good overall. It wasn't the best. It wasn't like Motorola Droid X2 territory. We were roaming, of course, but um, if you're on T-Mobile's 3G, 4G networks, you're going to be fine. Now let's talk about camera quality. The 3 megapixel camera churned out some nice images as long as the lighting was right, but for the most part, um, whites were majorly blown out and color gradation was really not defined. The WVGA video quality was mediocre. It's not the best camera. For Facebooking and for messaging, yeah, this phone is fine. Now it's time for me to take you by the hand into the field of the Samsung Exhibit 4G. Swipe up, there we have it. We're into the seven home screen customizable experience. And one thing that I liked about this phone was that you can pinch down, oops, when you don't accidentally hit an application, you could pinch down to view all your home screens here. Uh, and that's similar to HTC's Leap. And what I liked about it was it, a lot of phones try to do this but the exhibit actually exhibited a smooth transition and that's courtesy of its one gigahertz hummingbird processor drop down menu here it's fairly standard we have all of the power controls on top notifications and the applications menu is Samsung's classic side scrolling applications menu here and uh, I like the fact that we get th think free office here Yes, I accept. Let's do that later. Um, and this, we could um, view Word, PowerPoint, Excel documents and also work on them on the go. Although it's a little difficult because I'm going to show you the keyboard here. Okay. And we get swipe technology, which I liked. So, sure, thyself. Thyself. And, um, but, you know, it's a small keyboard because of that small screen and this phone's smaller size. Now, if you like applications, you're going to like the fact that the Exhibit 4G comes with Bejeweled 2, Scrabble, and Doodle Jump, which is a game that I have no idea if it has an end or not. And the best part about this phone is its um, active applications. Exit all. Done. 
It's like a kill all. And uh, that's something that Android really needs these days. Clear memory right there, wiped out. So while we're in the internet, it's worth noting that we have flash support here. There we have it. Okay. Not bad. No lag at all. Sound is okay on this phone. I wasn't crazy about it. So my InfoSync diagnosis with the Samsung Exhibit 4G is a good one. I like the fact that 4G phones are becoming cheaper, more affordable. But I also like the fact that Samsung catered to the feature phone fanatic. This is more of a glorified feature phone, and that glorification comes in the form of the AMOLED screen, the one gigahertz hummingbird processor, and this phone's higher end capabilities like the accelerometer for 3D, swipe, and we get corporate email. So I really like where the market is heading as far as 4G. The Samsung Exhibit 4G provides consumers with more options. If you're really looking to save money, if you're not looking for a super phone like the Thunderbolt or the T-Mobile G2X, the Samsung Exhibit 4G is a great little pint-sized option. For the entire Samsung Exhibit 4G review, go to infosyncworld.com. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.